Hey guys, Jay here. This is smarthelping.com. We've got a hedge fund model, soft hurdle waterfall. Um, I was working on this with a client, hundred millions of dollars in asset under management. This uh, template has been reviewed by an attorney as well. <clears throat> so <clears throat> what the template does is, you know, you're simple, you know, you could do a two and 20 model or whatever management fee plus performance fee there. Let me just tell you this. There are a ton of different ways you can set up these fee structures and this is just one version this version gives you a soft hurdle and a management fee now what a soft hurdle simply means in the context of a hedge fund is if you have met the hurdle you get your performance fee uh, based on the entire profit not just above the like it, it let's say the hurdle was um a nine percent return and you got um double that for the year then normally you would get uh maybe a fee on what was above the hurdle rate in this with the soft hurdle you would get your performance fee on the total profit um not just what's above the hurdle the hurdle's just okay do we do we make that hurdle if yes okay take the whole fee off um and split it with the uh fund operator hedge fund uh, manager okay so that's number one um, this is not a uh, there's a high watermark you can't get paid on gaining back past losses so there's high watermark functionality in here um, what else do we got uh, the the hurdles not cumulative so that means each year we're only taking um, the hurdle based on a percentage of the starting net asset value or NAV and with a hedge fund it's quite different so I do a lot of uh, real estate waterfalls I don't do a ton of work with hedge funds this is my first main model I've done uh, and executed at a high level very interesting logic here um, and a lot to go on and a lot of different variations you could do depending on how you structure your operating agreement which is probably going to be different for every single different hedge fund. Um, but this is a nice uh, foundational version to look at, analyze, use, um, take to investors and say, you know, here's some scenarios, here's how everything works, and they can kind of see what happens, what is going on, because this is very hard to explain in text. So a model becomes very valuable and useful here. Uh, so this template does that. We've got a lot of visuals as well. We'll go through all this more in depth. Um, I'm just trying to cover the high points right now. Um, so the, the, the hurdle rate is just each year it resets. Um, you're not getting paid for gaining back past losses. Uh, let's just look at an example here. Uh, so let's say we start uh, an account out with $100,000. Okay. hundred grand goes into the account. And the first period or year, these could be years, quarters, months, whatever. Um, let's say the first year, uh, we start with 100. We made $10,000 in gains, 10% return. And you could adjust this to other things. And you can see as this adjusts, you'll see the numbers start to change um, throughout. And I want to have it like I had before so I can explain it really good. Okay, so 10%. Uh, let's say that happens. So you're at $110,000 in um, value after uh, the gain or loss. However, there is a management fee. So in this style model, the management fee is essentially treated like a trading gain or loss. Or not gain, but a trading loss. And so then we calculate the net asset value after the management fee. So we go from uh, 110 at the end of the year. Uh, we charge the fee no matter what, if the hurdle was made or not, or uh, the performance fee is, is irrelevant of this. So now the net asset value is down by 2200 because of that fee. So we now have a gain or loss after management fees. Here in this case, it's 7800 And that gain for the year is what we look at to figure out if we made the performance hurdle or not. In this case, no, we did not. We did before the uh, management fee. But after this fee, we did not. So if this fee were to have been zero, you can see now, look, we made the 20% on the full gain because it's a soft hurdle. So we, we beat the $9,000 hurdle. We can now get 20% fee on the full 10,000. 
Now if we put this fee back in, okay, we didn't make the performance based on that. We just got our management fee, which is just 2% of the beginning, um, or sorry, 2% of the ending net asset value here, obviously before any fees or anything. So that's what we're looking at for the fee basis. Um, so we go on here, we didn't make the performance fee. So now we have an ending net asset value before performance fee, ending net asset value after, um, and it, which is just the same because there was no fee. And now we have a new high watermark, $107,800. Now what this high watermark simply means is the hedge fund is not going to earn a performance fee until the ending net asset value has gone above this 107,800 mark. And also note that the performance fee cannot reduce the ending net asset value below the high watermark at either. So those are some very important things. So we've got a max fee here. We've got um, some accumulated numbers over at the right. Uh, but you can see here, we made a 10% and now uh, we ended up with a $107,800 net asset value at the end. We now go to the next year. Let's say now we're down 7%. So we've had 7,500 in losses. The account now is at 100,000. It went from 110, uh, well, 107.8 to uh, now 100,000. So we get a little bit less management fee, 2% of this lower amount after year two. We have net asset value after management fees, gains or losses after fees. And remember, you're not going, so the total gains and losses section, this is just a checker to see, have we, um, essentially this is kind of like a high watermark checker um, because it's accumulating your total gains and losses after management fees. And so here, the hurdle rate was 9,700. We obviously, we had a loss, so that's not gonna be met. So now the, the asset value has gone down to 98, nothing happened with performance fees. And you can see this, so we've got losses for a while. Okay, accounts going down, down, down. Now finally in year eight, we have a 20% return. So what this 20% means is, okay, um, we had a $13,000 gain, ending account value was 82,000. Then we have a management fee of 16, so ending account value is now 80,800. And now look what happens. So we've got a $12,000 gain here, which is above the hurdle rate of 9%. However, the account value is below the high watermark. So you can't take any fees, any performance fees on that profit in this type of agreement. Now, obviously there could be other types of agreements, but for this and generally um, hedge funds aren't getting paid to recover losses. So even though this is a gain for the period, it does beat the hurdle for the period your high watermark is not met. You're not over 107.8. You're at, in this case, 80,000. Okay, so no fees there. We go again the next year. We make another 20%. We have the same situation. There's an asset management fee. There's a big gain here, but no, no performance fee. Now let's go another 20% in year 10. So now what happens? Well, now we've got up to $114,000. We take a, a management fee out of that, so we're down to 111. Okay, now let's do some checks. 111,000, is that above our previous watermark of 107? Yes, it is, so this eligible there. Uh, second thing, is it above the 9% hurdle for the year, which would be 9% of 110,000, 9,987, and our gain was, for this period, uh, 16, 1,726 after management fees. So that meets that. Okay, great. So now we do have a performance fee because all the criteria is met, but the performance fee is only, it's not the full, it's not based on this full 16,000 here. 20,000 of, or 20% of that would be a much higher number, 3,000. It's 793, why is that? Well, you can only take 20% on the gains above the previous high watermark. So here, in that case, it is 111,000, less your previous high watermark there. So really your basis for the fee is that, times 20%. That's how we come to our 792.61, which is this is just rounding, but that's that number. Very 
so the logic here, I, I did have to use some advanced uh, logical formulas and stuff, but really the, the harder thing with this model is more so understanding how it needs to work. Um, the formulas are kind of just a, 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 a way to, to demonstrate that, but the difficult thing with this model is actually understanding what needs to happen because it's not simple. And again, trying to explain this in text is not easy in a legal document, and I've seen it, and it's not super easy to understand. But putting it in a model like this and then showing different return scenarios, you can then see what happens over time. It's very illustrative for an investor to, to know, okay, here's what I started with, here's what happens, here's how the performance fees are happening, here's how the management fees affect the account. Um, you know, th there could this soft hurdle, um, you know, we can see how that's working. So all that stuff, this is super, super important to um, any hedge fund to use to help explain how their fees work. So, you know, everyone hears about the 2 and 20 model, but there's so many variations within this that can happen. I'm just showing you one here. Um, other ones, you could have you could have a hard hurdle. In that case, this would work the same, except for the fees only based on a percentage of the amount over the hurdle for the year. You could also have a cumulative hurdle where um, you're going to do like a 9% compounded return, and that's going to be the basis for figuring out if there's a fee or not. And then within that context, you could also have a hard or soft uh, performance fee based on if you're over that hurdle um, or not. Um, there's a lot of things going on here that could that could change or happen, but this is just one way. And this is, this is a, actually a pretty, from what I understand, um, I, would, I don't know if I'd say common. I'd say this is a uh, maybe a generally accepted way to model this. Um, the other option is obviously just instead of a soft hurdle, it's going to be a hard hurdle. And then um, you might be doing a comp compounded hurdle return rather than a simple per year um, amount based on the beginning of the asset value. Um, but this is, uh, so I've explained how this model works uh, specifically. Um, the visuals we have here are pretty cool. So we can see the ending net asset value in the high watermark. And you can see how the high watermark stays the same as the net asset value is changing down. As soon as the net asset value goes up, the high watermark also goes up. Now this is barely up a little bit here. And then finally we end up here. Okay, the high watermark goes up there. So this is kind of a nice way to see it. And then a, a returns percentage going up here on the right. Here we can see total fees in the period versus the asset value. Um, so this is performance fee and asset management fees. So you can see what years have that and how the um, net asset value is changing over time based on those fees uh, and, and just the performance of the fund. Gains, losses versus hurdle return and performance fee. This is another cool one. Um, so the, the bars are uh, the gains and losses after management fee. And then the, this hurdle return is, you know, checking to see if that criteria was met. So did we beat the hurdle? And you can see here's those three years where we did beat the hurdle. And then finally in year 10, we got above the high water mark. So now there's a fee. You can see the fee a little bump up there on the line chart. And then there's finally one again in the end. So that's good. Um, just a chart for ending net asset value over time. Uh, cumulative fees versus ending net asset value. So... We can see the account changing over time and the total fees uh, accumulated over time. Any net asset value versus high watermark and total fees. So this is the same as this, except for the line in this case is doing total um, fee per period rather than the return. Um, and then any net asset value versus the high watermark. So you can see the high watermark here doesn't change unless it, it is breached. If it's breached, it goes up. And this is the net asset value here. So as it goes down, the high watermark is obviously not changing. And the net gain loss from starting that asset value. So this is where the, the investor can see how their account balance has changed over time uh, after all the different uh, things have been taken into account. Uh, and this is just net gains and losses from the starting NAV. So here we end up with a final profit of uh, about $80,000 over 15 years on 100000 uh, I did some ROIs here on the whole account over the period, total NAV change, um, total performance fees, total management fees, total fees uh, consolidated. 
let's look at a couple other scenarios just so you can see. So let's say the, the hurdle race 9% here. Let's say we get 10%. Note how you're not getting a fee here. Why is that? Because this management fee of 2% is blocking your, you're not reaching it. So here's 7.8 versus 9, 8.4 versus 9.7. So even though the high watermark is rising, you are getting new high watermarks. You're not performing above this hurdle after the management fees. If I were to zero those fees out, okay, now we do have a couple beats here where we're, we're, we're getting a performance fee. Okay, so you could change all the cells in yellow and then everything updates uh, automatically. And if you want to download the template, it'll be uh, link is in the description box below. Um, I will be putting this in the joint venture uh, let me go here. So it will be in the joint venture bundle at smarthelping.com. Uh, I'm going to have a new section here called hedge fund. And I'll probably build out a couple more. Um, you can see up here, what I've done so far in joint venture, we've got a lot of IRR hurdles, a lot of uh, real estate tools or things that are used in uh, different joint ventures for preferred returns. But I've got nothing that even resembles this. So this is a new type of logic with uh, essentially based on how the net asset value is changing and management fee structures. So it's, it's new logic. I'm excited. I always love to add that. We're going to add it here. I don't know how much I'm going to charge for this template. It will just be a one-time fee. Um, we'll see what the price is. I don't know yet. Um, so that's all I got for you. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.